What's up, mother fathers? The LaCroix boy is back, okay? I've said this so many times at this point, but I don't care, okay? Because I feel this in my core. LaCroix sparkling water delivers refreshment, flavor, and sparkle with an innocent twist of zero calories, zero sweeteners, and zero sodium. Um, Like I said last week, you're going to have a hard time getting bored. There are now 27 LaCroix flavors. The newest additions to the family are Limoncello and Pastique. Um, LaCroix sparkling waters are gluten-free, vegan, kosher, and non-GMO, Whole30 approved, and environmentally friendly. LaCroix cans are sustainable and recyclable, and they're first on the market to be produced without BPA liner. So enjoy LaCroix sparkling water, a healthier alternative for you and your lifestyle. If you want more information, you can join the LaCroix community on social media at LaCroix Water. Um, And as you know, it's available nationwide for a full list of retailers. Visit www.lacroixwater.com. This is a don't like a mother father. Thanks for tuning in to learn more. We applaud you. Now sit back, relax, and maybe keep it pushing while we have a couple laughs and maybe get a little mushy. But don't forget to take a deep breath. But don't forget me hard sometimes. Just take the next step. Pick the right foot up and put it in front of the left. You do this over and over and be ahead of the rest. And let me introduce you to the star of the show, Daniela Monet. I bet you probably heard her say, Chicago, Chicago. Well, now she's all grown up and got a little baby boy. His name is Gio. Damn, what a bundle of joy. We're a tribe of three, but we're building a community. So come along. It's time for some adult Hello, adulters. What up, mother father? Um, welcome back to Adulting Like a Mother Father. I'm the mother, Daniela Monet. And I'm Andrew Gardner, the father. And we're both... Adults. adults and if you're an adult or just trying to be one this, this is, is the, the show, show for you. you wow that was solid wow oh my gosh i feel like there's so much to talk about i'm just yeah it's let's jump in do you have an adulting win and fail uh yeah i do i do have i have both this week um i'll start with my win okay let's start on a positive note mm-hmm. so we've decided we're going to make like a legit gym space out in the garage yep right but before i do that you know you have a garage that you don't really go into that much and it just like you just compile a bunch of stuff yeah you know what i mean oh That's yeah no we i know at. because so before we can make it a gym space i had to take all this stuff and move it next door into the other like little garage addition it's just like an empty room that like we've used for three different things at this point yeah but now that'll be like the garage storage space so had to put on my labor hat man go yeah. out there and bust a mission so i made a lot of progress there that is my win sometimes you got to do stuff like that and i did so here we are thanks uh, for being strong you're welcome you know what i mean lifting a weight here and there comes in handy yeah um my fail my fail i just had it but with all dad brain you will think of something and lose it in two seconds so it'll come back in three <laughs> to come on no it won't You're we're gonna kidding. go to you and then we're gonna come back oh to me my gosh. okay so i'm gonna start with my win because it is literally so top of mind um i'm i'm taking the win for my cousin she just had oh, a yeah. baby um and i so when we had geo she was there she was there for my labor she was there for my recovery um i wasn't there for her but i got to facetime her while she was in active labor (laughs) and that was super cool it was like an hour and 45 minutes of me just like hanging in there with her she was such a trooper you know everyone's birth um or experience with birth is so unique and personal and I won't go into detail, um, but she was a champion and she is a champion. And I feel so many things when it comes to delivery because you come out of it, I feel like personally just a new person. Yeah. Yeah, for <sighs> sure. I mean, like, are you talking about yourself for her? Or I, I'm actually just saying, I think experience? in general, I'm, I'm, I, I mean, I can only speak on my experience, but I just... Yeah, I just feel like it just forever changes you. And, you know, you think you're a mom, you know, your whole, what I'm trying to say is like, when you're pregnant, you feel 
like you're a mom, you have motherly instincts, they start coming to you, you you have to take care of your body, your health, you're doing things, you're making choices for your baby that's growing inside of you. But when you go through birth and you're going through the actual physical feelings and the emotions and the hormones and the all the things, like that's when I feel like it all comes to a head and you're just like, holy moly, I am a mother and I'm responsible for the well-being of this child now outside of me. Yeah. And it's I would imagine like naturally just going through that process, like something kicks in where you go like, A, like I've earned this. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? It's an experience unlike any other. And like, wow, I'm, I'm so strong, so brave, and I can handle anything at this point. Yep. And then two, like the responsibility piece kicks in. But it's like a good responsibility because you feel so proud that you have this thing that you would do anything in the world for. Mm-hmm. Right? Yeah. No, I know. It's just so cool. It's so cool to be, you know, obviously I'm just on the sidelines in and trying to just support her virtually or through Wi-Fi. Yeah. <laughs> Thank goodness that we have the means of technology. But um, that was just, it's been an exciting, you know, couple of days and the baby's so beautiful and healthy and happy. And um, in terms of an adulting fail, what could it be? It's weird. I feel like things are all relatively chill right now okay um you know like just to to go over the main chapters of life for us it's like geo is in a good swing oh you know what we could talk a little bit about so do you have a fail no i don't have a fail okay so then we can we can i remembered mine yeah so what I'm is happy it to step in. it's okay if you don't have a fail i think it's a good thing once in a while like to just let your mind think about the positives yeah uh, most of us i don't want to say most i don't want to put words in people's mouth but a lot of us often focus on the negatives, Mm -hmm. right? And those are the things that stick out in your mind. And and I think part of like meditation and, and, you know, going deep spiritually, whatever is about conditioning your mind to think about the positives instead of the negatives. Mm -hmm. And so long story short, this is a long winded way of saying like, it's okay to just feel like life is good. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And like things are light and positive and yada, yada. Yeah. So anyways, back to my fail, which now doesn't make any sense because I just talked about the positives. (laughs) I, I, um, I had a day this, this last week where I just felt super anxious all day long. There wasn't, I don't think there was anything that was creating this feeling. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't like that's what's hard about it. It's like some, some days, sometimes you can't even explain it. You just feel anxious. I, I felt anxious from the second I woke up and it may have been because, you know, we wake up to Gio crying some days and then we bring him in the room and he's like pretty fussy, whatever. And it's, you know, baby's amazing, but that's, it's not the best way to wake up for anybody. Mm-hmm. It could have been that. I don't know, but it's like, if I felt anxious all day. I felt hazy and cloudy. Like you just can't even get your brain to focus, right? You just feel like you're in a weird, almost dark place and it's not the first day that I've felt like that for sure um but I'm very aware when I do and I just usually I can do things um to shake it and I just couldn't Mm -hmm. you know and that's it's a tough place to be in because it's you know the obvious is mentally that's not where you want to be um but then the very next day was like complete opposite I felt light I felt clear I felt healthy um, it's weird. Yeah. You know, it's, 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 it's really weird. It's challenging. So anybody else out there that, that, you know, feels anxiety or depression, there's all sorts of things you can feel. Like I understand in, in my own way, in my own experience, uh, and, and it's challenging, but it's always about making the choice to like take one step further. Sure. You know what I mean? All right, everyone sit tight and we'll be right back for some more adulting like a mother father. So it comes as no surprise that we're all stuck in our homes for a little while. So avoid the complacency. It's important now more than ever to stay active and keep our bodies moving. Uh, You know, Beachbody On Demand is the easy to use streaming service that gives you instant access to over 1300 super effective workouts they're suited for anybody at any time it's the secret to getting results and really all you have to do is just get started that's right and if you're looking for results which all of us are this is the company to go to they have a huge history of success they're the ones behind p90x 
Insanity, and 21 Day Fix. Uh, but now you can check out some of their newest programs like Morning Meltdown 100 and 80 Day Obsession so that you can start every day strong. Um, look, they've got the best trainers, the best programs. You can work out on your schedule, so when and where and how you want to. You can access it from your phone, uh, your TV, your computer. It's on all like the, the smart uh, TV. Devices, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Uh, but the best part is this is the best deal in fitness right now. All mother fathers <laughs> can try it absolutely free. Oh my gosh. I have no excuse now. <laughs> okay. Um, let's motivate each other. Join us in trying a little beach body action for free um, with a free trial membership. When you text adulting to 30, 30, 30, you will get full access to the entire platform for free, all the workouts, nutrition information and support. It's just, it's totally free. Again, just text adulting to 30, 30, 30. And now back to adulting like a mother father. Can I chime in on that? Sure. Um, just because a couple of things came to mind. A lot of people I've noticed on social media, um, they've been talking about mental health and, you know, wanting to really um, let people have space to really feel their feelings. And, you know, obviously this is something very new that we're all feeling and we're kind of all feeling similar things together throughout mm-hmm. this pandemic. And I think one of the things that is pretty universal, or at least I feel like it is, is this fatigue where it's like, why are you smiling? <laughs> what? Um, yeah, no, I just, uh, yeah, I agree. I agree. I know, I know like, it sounds weird, but I, I agree. Yeah. It's, Cause it's if a you word think that's about around. it, well, no. And, and if you think about it, like you're kind of going through these stages and I feel very like s- similarly to the people that have like expressed like, you know, where they're at mentally. And I think it starts with like, I don't actually know the stages, but it started at least for me with like grieving reality and and what I knew to be like normalcy. And then you kind of go through like anger and sadness and not everyone feels it. to yeah, Yeah. Like to the extreme, you know, um, extent of it. But I think you feel like a dose of it at times where you're just like, what the heck is happening? And now I think everyone's much more settled in, in their, I guess, day to day, but there is a sense of fatigue. Cause you're like, wait, why does things feel a lot more monotonous? Yeah. I think there's a sense of like, I can't do this forever, you know? And hopefully we should all know that almost everything in life is, is cyclical. Like what goes up, comes down, comes back up. Right. Um, you just got to have the, the confidence and the belief that like it, it will be different in the future. This is everything is pretty much temporary. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I think everybody's feeling the the pain's the wrong word, but you know, the, the pain of being stuck at home and you know, for people that like don't even have anyone around, like it would just, that would be the craziest thing. If you've yeah. just been by yourself for three months. Yeah. And I think some people are, are slowly acclimating to, you know, what social distancing means and introducing more, um, socializing, um, from a, a real distance. Like I know people are doing backyard hangs and stuff like that. Um, but this is not advice. No, 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 I know. Yeah. But what I was going to say is that something that has helped us, um, just in those moments of like, I don't know, like mundane and, and fatigue or whatever, is that just being able to look around our surroundings, clean up a surface, move something around, and then you feel like your environment has had a little bit of like a facelift. And I think that gives us energy for some reason. Yeah. Like we cleaned the kitchen <laughs> the other day. Mm-hmm. And I swear it's such an adult thing to do. But scrubbing your damn stove is so gratifying. Mm-hmm. Because they get disgusting. Well, duh, it gets uh, disgusting. But then it's like to look at your stove and know that you can literally, if something were to fall out of a pot in the midst of a cooking session, you could technically maybe take that noodle and eat it because it is so darn clean. Uh, Yeah, it's a good point. Do you know what I mean? Like it just feels good. Yeah. Uh, Yeah. It's a proud feeling. (laughs) I'm going to eat that noodle. Right? Like you could eat it. Hold on. Are they called noodles? It's just called pasta, right? Are you kidding me? You're going to go down this path? No, I'm That's curious. So I'm curious. Not even relevant. What What do Italians think? Like, oh, oh, if you oh. call pasta noodles, is that a thing? So we say pasta a lot, but uh, uh, once in a while, my my nono will say macaroni, and then I'm like, whoa, whoa, <laughs> what? what? I mean, that sounds like an Italian word. 
Macaroni? Yeah. I mean, it must be, right? I've never thought about it, but it sure does. Macaroni. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, I, I kind of want to get away from... Yeah, no, I know. The pandemic you want to know why because we've been like relatively fine and then the second you talk about it you're like oh wait what it's like everybody's talking about it happening you know (laughs) yeah it's like we know this is where we're at it is what it is let's let's focus on the positive um so you brought up a good point though you talked about rearranging spaces cleaning etc uh we have a guest on i know this week that i was I was so pumped about. Um, she's she's been all over HGTV, all up in like you know home decor magazines. Her style, yeah, is sick, mm-hmm. so sick. Like she was on Rock the Block, which was like the four uh, designers for like the, the main like, HGTV designers. So if you're an HGTV viewer like we are, you're familiar with the designers. There are four women that are just powerhouses and they have similarities amongst their designs, but they're kind of distinctly different. And, yeah, and but, sure. but our guest today is by far the most unique of the four and rock the block. And I really hope it comes back. Most unique and probably closest to the style that we, we would love. go for. Yeah. 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 Um, but anyways, Rock the Block was such a good show, and I really hope it comes yeah. back. So if and anyone from HGTV knows someone at HGTV, express our love. Yeah. And it you said so four. They were missing yeah. one, Joanna. Joanna oh, well, Joanna. She's, you know what I mean? she's first kind of, all, of a, I don't even think she's associated with HGTV anymore. Yeah, outside I think of they like started the their own network, I think. Yeah. She's like, I'm taking this success and running. Yeah. I'm going to yeah. own this space. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. So, ultimately, I was thinking about this. Like... If, if you're a young adult through, you know, middle age, which is like our listener base, which I know is a big range. If you're a young adult, at some capacity, you care about creating like a a cool, inviting, unique space for yourself, right? Wh- whether that's, you know, in, in the bedroom that you're sharing with somebody else in college or in uh, your first apartment you're sharing with somebody or like a brand new house that you bought for yourself. Like, or even your own bedroom. Like you, you know, if you live at yeah. home, like you still want to really, you know, own your space. Yeah. And um, our guest talks all about moving in. Yeah. And making this space yours. Like and just, just wholeheartedly committing and creating a, a beautiful, inviting space. Mm-hmm. And, uh, Long story short, again, yeah, she okay. She never disappoints. Her style is so sick. Uh, I was super pumped. You were pumped. Heck yeah! But I was more pumped. Oh my god! Um, let's just get into it. Are you going to introduce? Are you going to say her name? Yeah. So this <laughs> week we have Leanne Ford on, and we talk about all things space, yeah, decorating, rearranging, etc. So let's just jump wait, into wait, it. Wait, wait, hold on. I just want to pre... Um, so let's not jump in. No, I want to preface this, and I always want to say prefix, but that is the wrong word. What I want to preface this with saying, um, so Leanne was an interview we did at the very beginning of um, the yeah, quarantine, and so that was kind of interesting because we were very much in the thick of like, what is life right now? But she is one. And I, and I do think it has to do with like her being very in touch with her space and her environment and not letting outside things totally affect her. But she was so chill, Mm -hmm. like so chill. She's just like, I'm just grateful. She was saying all the things before everyone was saying all the things around us. Mm -hmm. Like then we started to hear about, Oh my gosh, I'm embracing all this family time. I'm embracing my home and my space. I'm reinventing things. She was saying all of it like day, one so she's a bit of a visionary (laughs) yeah so let's uh let's jump in with leanne ford we'll be right back more adulting like a mother father when we come back Ooh, Cosbox just dropped their summer box. So Cosbox is a cool subscription box. It's full of really good purposeful products that um, serve a good cause. Their last four boxes completely sold out and they're revealing spoilers of what's going to be in this box on their Instagram at Cosbox. Um, 
anyways, you can find out what's all, you know, coming soon, but they did drop one product that's going to be in the box. It's the PMD clean. And you might've already seen it because it's been all over social media lately, but it's this awesome smart facial cleansing tool. I've always wanted to try one of these. Um, it has 7,000 vibrations per minute and it deeply cleanses your face as well as lifting and toning it normally costs like $99 by itself, but it's just one of the bunch of products that are going to be in the summer cause box. Go check it out. Causebox dot com slash adulting for 30% off your first box. All right, guys, we're back. Here's adulting like a mother father. Let's jump in. So first off, uh, if, if we understand this correctly, you have a daughter ever who just I celebrated do. her first birthday. Congrats. Yes. Yes, she did. We Aww. had a little surprise party for her, which meant all her stuffed animals when she woke up. <laughs> <laughs> That is my favorite thing I've heard today. Um, it's so cute. She was all happy. She's like yeah. she, all for all she knew, all her friends were there, so she was good. Good, oh good, good, good. Love that. Uh, yeah, so that, obviously that's a unique way to spend a first birthday. But uh, yes. glad you guys could figure out a way to make it special for. Her. Outside of that, obviously we're in this really weird time right now. It's weird for everybody. What's quarantine life like for you and the family? Uh, I mean, we're safe and sound, so I have to say I'm enjoying it. Like I'm definitely leaning in. I mean, I haven't show shampooed. I haven't washed my hair in a week. I'm like, this is an experiment to see what this will look like later. So, I mean, it's so lovely to be with my family and to be with Ever. And, um, you know, we're taking a lot of walks, so we're still allowed to leave the house, which is great. But uh, it, it, there was something kind of very freeing about deleting a bunch of trips and to do from your calendar, I have to say. Yes, there is. No, we agree completely. Um, we have our almost six month old right now managing oh my our mic gosh. stand. So sorry yes. for that loud sound. <laughs> <laughs> He's all hands on deck. Everything in his sight is is his, according to him. Yes. How oh how is gosh. how are you guys doing with a six month old? Yeah, we're, we're, we're managing. Good. Oh my gosh, what a fun <laughs> stage. I mean, I think it's fun at least. He's got have like you slept? personality. Yeah. Okay. No, we're good. We're good on the sleeping finally. So that's okay, all good. good. Um, yeah. I think like, you know, just trying to keep it interesting and at least he keeps us busy. So we're, we're good with that. <laughs> yeah. And you know, it's, it's like, I want to look back on this and think of it as such as a joyful and special time. And mm-hmm. man, it's really like, we're lucky to be captive with our families and to enjoy each other. No, I couldn't agree more. Um, so just so you know, we are huge fans of your aesthetic. <laughs> huge. I mean, we <laughs> fell in love with you early on. Um, and then, of course, we watched Rock the Block and yeah. absolutely loved your design. Um, Thank you. Yeah. No, you're incredible. And, and actually, how would you actually, like, how would you describe your style? Mm. You know, I, I kind of only go with what other people say because I, but the one I relate to most is, um, easy minimalism, you know? So there's, there's, I always keep it to a really clean color story, which makes it feel minimal, but it's very warm and, um, live like it. No, I always keep it to a color story, which keeps it very minimal, but it's still warm and livable and cozy. And I want you to like throw your shoes off and jump on the sofa and, um, you know, nothing is precious, but I'd say there is a kind of like a simplicity to it, even though there's a lot of stuff in there usually. No, it's it's perfectly done. It feels very raw, but yet like real. And I think that's something we're gravitating towards a lot um, right. at home right now because I think, you know, we're all just spending a lot of time at home and I think we're looking at our environments differently now. Um, right. And so kind of like scaling back right now yeah. is important to us, you know, sort of having clean yeah. eye lines. And, just going more minimalistic. Yeah, it feels a little bit, it feels like a breath of fresh air. And so we thought it would be so fun to have you on our show and maybe shed a little light and some expertise on how we might all be able to, you know, scale back, streamline things a little bit and feel that light and airiness in in our environment. Right. You know, I, I would say too, is because technology is such a massive thing um, in our lives and in our work that, um, 
we need to, that's why I think people are kind of going back to nature in our homes, you know, and natural elements and stone and concrete and bringing plants in. Like we're kind of craving being grounded and there's ways to do that uh, in your home. So that's my kind of theory on why we're all, you know, loving that. Mm -hmm. Are there any like little tips that we can, that you can share with us that, um, you know, just living within our means, of course, because we don't have all the access to everything right now. Although you could go out to Crate and Barrel. I know you have a new collection there, which is so exciting. Oh, and thank not you. Not go and get it, but you can order it online, <laughs> of course, and have it yeah. delivered to you to like, you know, give your home a little facelift. Thank but are you there for anything? talking about of that. Of course. No, we're big Oh my gosh. No, I, I'm so... I'm so excited that your style is now becoming more tangible for all of us because it it takes a totally different perspective, which I think you have to, um, you know, kind of have that sort of vibe. Yeah. And I just want to jump in and say this for me, at least I think, or maybe for us, it's a little reminiscent of what we saw and experienced in Tulum, I don't Mm. know, two, two, three years ago. So I don't know if you've been there before. Mm Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, I love okay. Shalom. I mean, the, I was there a long time ago and the water was so perfect. I, oh, I heard amazing. it's changing, but I'm sure it has. Um, but you know, I, I would say that was like, there's this kind of, it, there's a Mediterranean touch to it when you, so first of all, my, like the crate and barrel line is a perfect example of, um, you know, all of these influences living together really well. Like if you look at it, there's this Italian shapes and then there's this Mediterranean, uh, you know, vacation home thing, but there there's mid century, but they all really kind of live together because it's a very neutral, natural, easy color story. Oh my gosh, there's our other guest on the show. <laughs> yeah, we have a co-host this week. <laughs> Actually, for the foreseeable future. Totally, totally. He needs his, like, he needs his little earphones on. I know, I know. We just put a, a, the headphone in his ear so he could hear what we were hearing, and it like oh. it was mind-blowing. You should have seen his face. <laughs> He's like, I totally agree. That, right? I'm in on this. Um, no, no, I love where you're going with this because uh, I watch sort of the the style that you have via your Instagram and obviously HGTV and your show. And it feels sometimes that it's so out of reach because we live in these boxes that kind of, I don't know, a lot of them seem very traditional. Um, And when you stripped away, you know, things like the baseboard and then you ripped out, you know, wood floors that a lot of people want in their homes and exposed the concrete, the style was, it it really went so well. And I would have never in my mind, like I would have never thought to do that. We're all about what can we add? What can we add to make it? You know what I mean? Yeah. And there is like a matter of simplify. In fact, when they called me to do rock the block, I um, kind of giggled. I was like, I'm the least competitive person on the planet. Like I'm not going to come to try to win this contest, but I'm going to come make a pretty house. And Mm -hmm. um, so I loved the challenge of the, uh, you know, a new build, a new, like a a neighborhood without any style or, I mean, it has great style, that neighborhood, but like any history or character. Sure. Um, So for me, it was fun to try to make something brand new feel warm because, you know, I think it's all about uh, texture and warmth and, you know, uh, that's why I like old homes because they have this built-in character that I would like to keep alive. So my brother and I have this show restored by the Fords on HGTV and that's all we do for that show is old homes that we don't um, necessarily do a historical renovation by any means. We make it modern and we make it, uh, you know, what the family needs and wants, but we try to keep as much uh, oomph and, you know, imperfection in character as we can. So then when you're talking about these new houses, that have no imperfection, they're literally perfect, how do you bring soul back in or in for the first time? So that was so fun. We did it with stone and concrete and oh, that uh, in. <laughs> yeah, that that like grout wash on our stone kitchen wall. You know, it was so it was beautiful. fun to get creative with it. More adulting like a mother father when we come back. 
Guys, let's talk dehydration real quick because this is important. Okay, liquid IV is the solution for it. It hydrates you two to three times faster and more efficiently than water alone. Plus, with one little packet and a glass of water, uh, you get the added bonus of vitamin C, B3, B5, B6, and B12. For every purchase of liquid IV that you make, they donate a serving to someone in need around the world, which is amazing. They've donated more than 2.5 million servings to date uh, to places like Haiti, Uganda, Puerto Rico, and Nepal. And currently, they're donating to healthcare facilities and food banks across the nation. So cool. I, I love I love that they're doing that. And you know, proper hydration can really boost your immunity. So this is a great time to start taking liquid IV. They contain five essential vitamins, more vitamin C than an orange and much more potassium than a banana. They're non-GMO, they're vegan, free of gluten, dairy, and soy, and they're completely uh, made of clean ingredients. So that's a plus too. That's right. Um, I have it on deck here. I, I usually pop one in a glass of water anytime I'm feeling low on energy, which is usually at the end of the day, because with an eight month old, you typically <laughs> feel like you're low of energy at the end of a day. Uh, and I like to work out. So I, I got to feel like I get a little boost before I do that. Mm-hmm. For our listeners, you can get 25% off when you go to liquidiv.com and use code adulting at checkout. That's 25% off anything you order on liquid IV's website. Just go to liquidiv.com and enter promo code adulting to save 25% and get better hydration. That's liquidiv.com promo code adulting. Don't wait. Start properly hydrating today. All right, guys, we're back. Here's adulting like a mother father. I think it takes um, like a leap of faith for, you know, the average person to take those steps and, and kind of go out on a limb and say, okay, I'm going to, like I said, like strip away some of the detail of yeah. my home and, and, and see where that takes me. And, and you, you display such a perfect example of that. And it gives me and Andrew <laughs> a little confidence to, yeah. to do a little bit more because we're just in sort of our home, is like an older, I think it was built in like the 1940s and it's a mid century, I would say. Would you? Yeah. And then very like traditional, <laughs> beca- traditional because it was a flip too. So mm-hmm. we'll add in a lot of that, like whatever was trendy at the time in terms of mm-hmm. like molding and things like that. But I just think it's motivating to see it done differently. And I feel transported when I watch um, mm-hmm. your show. Yeah. Thank I think that's, you. Yeah. That's the coolest thing about your space is, is like, it does feel like home and it's warm and inviting, but at the same time, you always feel like you're on vacation. So like those yeah. kind of spaces that you walk into are just always amazing and put you in the right headspace. You know, I, that's really big to me. I mean, it's more than ever, obviously right now, which I'm like, I hope enough people made their space lovely because we're all in it. But like, I would say, you know, you go on vacation, what, two times a year if you're lucky. So wh- where you live at home should be your favorite place to be. So how can you do that? And, you know, what do you love from your favorite trips? What do you love about Tulum? Like, all right, we loved the, you know, natural elements that came there. Like bring that into your home. Design is not precious. You know, it's, fun. I literally walked home. I was walking my daughter the other day and there was a palm branch that fell and I just dragged it home behind the stroller and it's now in my house and it looks awesome. (laughs) I love that. that. Oh my gosh. That makes me so happy. I saw something on Instagram the other day that I told Andrew I want to do and I still have yet to do it, but someone collected a bunch of um, just natural elements like sticks and branches and flower petals and created a piece of art. Yep. And it was beautiful. And I was like, wow, that would be such a fun project to do. Yeah. And, you know, you don't even realize how uh, much that helps your kind of psyche is having things you love in your home and these kind of bring in natural elements. Like you do not need to go get uh, roses, like go cut a couple branches from the tree in the neighborhood and put it in a vase. And I mean, just that really brightens up your day. I think, you know, I've been, um, like on my Instagram, I haven't really posted anything all week. I've just been kind of getting, surviving, figuring out all of this life that we are currently in. But I think this week I'm going to start posting tips of things you can do while you're at home, like rearranging your shelving and, you know, what, where, what do you have? If you have some paint in your house, like what can you paint? So 
I think that people are <laughs> all asking for ideas and oh, yeah. realizing that, um, that it's worth it. I mean, honestly, I my some of my friends, they've like never done anything to their apartments or their homes because they just feel like they're going to move. And 10 years later, they're still there, you know? Mm-hmm. So I'm like, move in, dive in, lean in and, and make the place special. I love that. And I think, you know, for, for us right now, it's not about putting a bunch of, of money into your space. It's sometimes mm-hmm. just like, what can we do within our room and, and, and like you said, rearranging a shelf or rearranging your furniture. We got rid of a yes. coffee table um, because we realized Gio is out of place in life where he wants to spread out and be on the floor. And so, yeah. yeah, it just feels like that alone made such a difference and made it feel light and bright. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And that leads me to, we always want our listeners to take away something from our guests. Uh, and I think that you have a lot that you can give. Um, Outside of, you know, going outside and cutting a branch from a tree, is there anything specific that pops out that people could do basically for free today in their own home or space? That might yeah, I love, cool. I love the rearranging furniture thing. I think, um, you know, p- get your sofa away from the wall. I think it's interesting. We all kind of have this dorm room mentality that you feel like your room's going to be bigger if everything's shoved against the wall. <laughs> so uh, I would say, Pull a sofa six to 12 inches from the wall and create a nice room in the center of the space. You know, you use carpets to kind of create new elements and new uh, spacing in the rooms. And then like play, you know what I mean? If it doesn't look good, you move it back. Change where your uh, bed is located and like have a sleep and wake up in the morning and see how you feel with a different view. There's, it's, it can be fun and easy and takes no money and no time and you'd be amazed how uh different you feel like your space is just from that yeah i I couldn't agree more i actually grew up with a mom who rearranged the furniture i felt like once a month (laughs) so i've kind of like taken that in my dna as well so i end up doing that here you Uh, do you're not you're not like messed up from it because i'm i'm like what will ever feel ever is like where's my room mom like your room's over here I think it's constantly like I like it. Said, it like changes the way yeah. you think and you look out into your your space, and I think that's good for your brain. I just think as as human beings, like we need variety. You can't look at the same things in the same way all the time. Right, right. And I would say too, you know, people are so apt to like they'll move into a home and they'll just do exactly what the pe- previous owners did or the previous renters, and like you know, if you I, right now for home offices and like move the bed like get if you have a guest room and you're lucky enough to have a guest room but you're in there for your for work like move the bed put it away get it out of there and create an office because right now we're not having guests Mm -hmm. (laughs) yes yes yes. you know and like take care of yourself and use these rooms how you need to um Mm -hmm. and you know like think differently about what goes where it's so fun it's just like a really cool exercise to walk around your house and think hmm Maybe the dining room should be over here. I mean, yeah. why the heck not? I love that. And then also like right now, a lot of people are trying to sort of implement their workout into their schedule. Mm. And I've found that uh, a friend of mine moved basically her whole dining room to the wall and put a, a yoga mat down and like some candles and made it like a little vibey space. And I'm like, that's something we would have never given ourselves permission to do until right. we forced to look at things a little differently and, and utilize our space differently. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, that's so true. The permission thing is I have people always ask me about painting their brick or their wood trim or their wood. I'm like, it, if it's your home and if that's what you love, then do it. Like no mercy. Right. I mean, yeah. it, people, it doesn't matter if people say, uh, you can't paint brick. Like, if you like white brick, then you certainly can, you know, just do it. (laughs) I I did that with our home. When we first moved in, we had a brick fireplace and I was like, well, we're not going to redo the fireplace anytime soon. And I just go to paint and it makes it, it feels so fresh and new and it's so simple. Yeah. And and it's it's nice to give yourself permission. It's like, you feel like, you know, more of an adult. Well, also like you work so hard to get into a home or an apartment or whatever, like you might as well make it your own. Right. Yeah. Yes. Move in. Even if it's a rental, like paint some, I mean, don't paint the brick, you'll get in trouble, but like (laughs) paint the walls and change the lighting. More adulting like a mother father when we come back. 
Okay, guys, so we talked about Caldrea last week. Now, Caldrea is a consciously crafted home and body care brand that combines thoughtful ingredients with delectable scents, making caring for ourselves and our homes a really beautiful experience. And if you want to talk about a full, beautiful experience, you got to talk about how you round it out, right? Mm-hmm. And that's using Caldrea's air care products, which transform your home with your favorite fragrances, immersing you in luxury in every room. Okay. Their products like linen and room spray and candles can help you instantly turn your home into somewhere you want to be. And you know, like I love creating a vibe. Mm-hmm. You're the I'm vibe guy. All about it, right? <laughs> Anything that touches the senses. If I walk in and there's a smell that just like mm-hmm. floors me, I'll remember that forever. That's and I'll true. be searching for it, right? And you can have it with Caldrea. Um, look, this is what somebody said about the linen and room spray on their website. They said, heaven in a bottle. I had guests at our table asking about that heavenly smell. And of course I tell them it's... Caldrea. Yeah. Definitely something to check out if you're looking to spruce up your atmosphere. Get free shipping on orders of $50 or more when you buy online at caldrea.com. That's C L D R E A.com. Visit caldrea.com and find your signature scent. Now back to adulting like a mother father. You know, it's really easy to change a lighting fixture. I, I always would have my brother do it or hire someone to do it. And um, my brother and I are working with heart tools, H-A-R-T tools now. And so I did a video of saying like, all right, you know what? I tell everybody you can change it. It's time to me to do it. So I did it my first time on film. Nice. And I was so um, empowered. Like I was so into it. And it was very easy if you turn the breaker off. (laughs) Okay. okay. So I was going to say, you're, you're braver than I am because I want yeah, exactly. electrical. But like I would say, I, yeah, you know. Video accessible because that's a great thing to point people to if they want to change their lighting fixture. Yes. You save the old light, like the ugly flush mount that your yeah. landlord picked. No offense. And you put your awesome light in. And then when it's time to leave, you switch them back. And like it's what an easy to do. It yeah. actually takes five or 20 minutes to do the first one. Five minutes after you get it all dialed. <laughs> 45 for me. An hour if you're filming. But, <laughs> but it's so worth it. Like, you know, in a dining room, put a pretty light. In your bedroom, put a pretty light. Okay. I love that. Um, here's a random question for you because I just like understanding how a creator's mind like yours works. When you look at a space, what like what's the first thing you think about doing? Like what anchors the the space of the project for you? That's interesting. Um, You know, it's all about what your favorite focal point is. So, you know, it's always like, all right, if there's a fireplace, if it's the kitchen sink, if it's a, you know, the window of a great view. um, And then I, and then I kind of plan the furniture around that. So um, I would say where, think about where you want to look, right? Like in your bedroom, I know there's a lot of feng shui rules, which I try to respect and listen to, but like, where do you want to wake up in your first eye level to be, you know? So I think that's how I kind of design. And then favorite pieces. So if it's some, you have some magical chair, I mean, sometimes you make an entire room around one piece and you find (laughs) things to go with it. Just what we do. Yeah. So true. Yeah, hundred percent. Danielle, was, you said chair. Danielle has been holding on to this chair. It was like the very first piece of furniture she bought, like what, 10, 15 years ago? Yeah, it was like the first piece I splurged on and I, ha- I had it reupholstered and the actual chair itself is antique. Like it's yeah. Like chair. And so I had never done anything like that. That was like a big move for someone my age at the time. Right. And, right. You know, now it's like, I well, don't we've care been trying to find a place for it for nine years. <laughs> yeah. Well, but honestly, I think. I, I, I'm a chair girl too. So I, I totally get it. Like chairs are, you know, furniture is art. It's art that you get to actually use. So I respect your chair thing. Hang it on the wall. If you don't have a screen for it, turn it into a light fixture. (laughs) Yeah. Right. Um, Hang it upside down. I couldn't agree more with, um, suggesting to rearrange the furniture in a bedroom specifically, because the first thing that you kind of see in the morning is 
it kind of could set your day off yeah. on a good, you know what I mean? And I, I, yes. I'm looking at ours right now thinking, oh, wait, we wake yeah, we up and done we it look better. at a black screen. Like, we don't even watch TV in our bedroom, but we, wake up and we see that TV there. I she almost, said, no, mm. 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 no TV in the bedroom. No okay. TV in the bedroom. Okay. Okay. But we I like don't that. Even, so we can get rid of it completely. Yeah. Yeah. be a fun project. Yeah. Well, you <laughs> there you go. Now you have something to do this afternoon. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, it's so good. Yeah. Uh, well, obviously, we're huge, huge fans of yours. Um, this is so fun. Yeah, it's very fun. Very fun. Like, I'm totally an aesthetic visual guy. Yeah. Uh, and your your aesthetic, your look, like, really spoke to me. And I know it spoke to Daniela the same way. Oh, I love it. Thank you. I mean, you know, I like, too, is the the couples thing. It's been interesting because, um, you know, it's hard for couples to find a common thread of a style they like, you know, just the male female is kind of sometimes half of it, but like, it's fun to have pe two people that have a similar aesthetic uh, and then to like my stuff. I appreciate it. Cause there's, there is, you know, the man's allowed in the house too. I always say, I look back at like <laughs> my, you know, like so it's designing is 50% uh, couples therapy, I swear. So it's always good when you guys are aligned. Yeah. Do you find when you work with couples that typically like the way they would present themselves at the start is like the woman has done all the, the decorating or design right. and the guy hasn't really cared, but then you get into a project with them and you discover that the guy <laughs> does actually care a lot? A hundred percent. How do you know that? How do you know that? Andrew. <laughs> Except for Andrew now has, has become the person that's like, this is, this is all my design. And now right. I kind of take the back seat, even though I'm probably the one pulling mm -hmm. the trigger on a lot of the decisions. Mm -hmm. Right. So we're going to post some pictures. <laughs> we'll point to those pictures. You just let us know yes or no, if you like it. Ooh. Yes. Yes. <laughs> we should do, we'll, we can do a social experiment where I'll, uh, I'll do the first podcast designing from Ooh. I won't even look I won't even look I'll just yeah. do it from Love yeah just description you know okay. I'm thinking about uh joining cameo today <laughs> because <laughs> because I want to turn it into like ask me a question about your place and send me a picture and so you know and like give people a couple minutes because I really like design for all I really want everybody to have a beautiful home mm -hmm. I like want I want that to be, and I'm just trying to think of new ways to do it because I can't go into everyone's house, you know? Yeah. No, yeah. I, I mean, whether we were quarantined or not, you couldn't. So it's <laughs> right. Nice to I also, I also just like that you said that because I think your home, your space, like can totally change your mindset for the better. And you know, enough people don't have a place that they absolutely love being in. Right. And if you're, if you feel good in your home, I mean, honestly, it could be like paint, just paint your house paint things white yeah. if you feel good in your home then now you feel better when you leave your home and now you're like in a better mood that you know rubs off on somebody else so i think there if a, if the more people that love their homes the better i just really truly believe that yep i couldn't agree more now for people listening if if you could call out maybe one project that you kind of think summarizes your work or that you're really proud of for people to get inspiration from? Is there something mm -hmm. that you, you, that comes to mind for you? Well, I mean, you can see all my projects on my website, which is leanford.com. So, and they're all kind of different just depending on what house it is, you know, um, but there's a common thread, but I would say an easy one is the rock, the block house. Because oh, yeah. it, I think that was, it was really fun to show um, the country a new way to think in a new style. You yeah. know, yeah. you were the most different. Let me tell you that bathroom. <laughs> oh yeah. That's all we need. We don't need a kitchen. We don't need anything else. We can take the bathroom. I, so I want that bathtub right now. <laughs> I want that home right now. But I think the takeaway <laughs> is that we can do little things in our environment right now. We can yeah. get to work and, and make it fresh and new. And even if it doesn't stick for long, you just move it back and change it up again. Yeah. It's a fun, it's, it's design is fun. It, like I said, it's not precious and it's just enjoy it and have a good time. It's art, which is subjective, which means who cares what anyone else thinks. If you love it, you're good. I love that. Oh, well, thank you for joining us, Leanne. Thank you too. This is so lovely. Oh, I couldn't agree more. And please, um, feel free to, to share where people can find you on Instagram and, um, 
I'd love yeah, to, love to it's shout Leanne out. Ford Interiors. So uh, Perfect. Can, I'll, I'm going to try to put some tips up ASAP. Hitting Yay. follow right now. <laughs> <laughs> Good job, Andrew. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> All right, Leanne. Well, enjoy the rest of your um, st- settling in at home session. Yes. And yes. Uh, we'll be following along with the rest of your fun and beautiful designs. Oh, thank you. Yeah, let me know if you all need anything else from me, okay? Okay, we will do. Thanks, Leanne. Okay. Have a good Bye-bye. More adulting like a mother father when we come back. Though we're apart these days, we're sharing more. And Geico would just like to say thanks. Thanks for sharing your savage dance moves. Thanks for sharing your DIY haircut fails. Thanks for sharing your inner lip sync star. Now it's Geico's turn to share too with the Geico Give Back, a 15% credit on car and motorcycle policies for current and new customers. And because Geico's committed for the long haul, the 15% credit last year full policy term. Visit geico.com slash give back for info and eligibility. Learn more about Geico's 15% credit on car and motorcycle policies at geico.com slash give back. All right, guys, we're back. Here's adulting like a mother father. And we're back. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed our little chat with Leanne. And by the way, if you really need some just visual stimulation and some good vibes, you could follow her on her Instagram. I should probably have that queued up so that I know exactly what her Instagram is. I think, I think it's the Leanne main Ford. one is yeah, Leanne Ford Interiors. Yeah. Um, yeah. Leanne Ford Interiors. And oh my gosh, I'm looking right now. And it's just... I can't explain it. It's just like natural beauty. Divine. It's like effortless natural design. Um, yeah, so d- we really enjoyed the word. divine. Yeah. Who are you? <laughs> I just appreciate what she does. Okay. Believe it or not, I like I like creating spaces. Believe it or not, I'm well aware. This kid is the one who's like, let's. And by the way, we took her advice. We moved the couch off the wall, which was kind of an interesting choice for us because we have a very small we living have a space. Tiny <laughs> living space. Like, and we weren't sure about, you know, eating up some of the floor space. Yeah. You got to crank your neck up towards the TV a little bit. Yeah. But it is what it is. Yeah. Because you know now I mean? we're closer to the TV. But it does make a huge difference. I'm looking at it right Actually, now. Actually, now that I think about it, it's a good balance because you spend so much time looking down at your phone. Mm. You might as well crank it up to look at the so TV. So funny you say that. Um, um, while I was uh, in prenatal yoga, half of our exercises involved looking up stretching. and stretching our arms up. Mm. And I remember in prenatal yoga, I was like, what? Like, okay, cool. Like, it feels good. And it's great because it kind of like relieves the pressure on your tummy because you're really stretching upwards. Yeah. But what I realized is, and she kept telling us, is that was because we would spend so much time looking down at our babies which is mm. so accurate because when you're nursing, you're looking down, you're like kind of hunched over. You're always got your arms wrapped around your baby. Um, so yeah, I, I just thought I would, I don't know how I, yeah. I need some more of that. Cause I have the world's worst posture. Okay. You know, like if I'm really thinking about it, I can like get everything aligned and in place. But most of the time I'm, I look like a toothpick that's been broken. Okay. That is your, you're so silly. <laughs> oh my gosh. Let's get into Something, something we didn't do in the intro okay. piece and let's do an adulting is I've been holding on to this one since like Tuesday or whatever. You day have it was. some that you've been yeah, like, okay, yeah, yeah. cause I don't, I'm but here's the challenge. I've it. thought a lot about it. I don't know how to articulate it well. So just stay with me. Okay. I'm okay? I was in the shower the other day and I just, Ooh. I just wanted the bar of soap, Ooh. just the bar of soap Ooh, off, I like off the little going. insert, like <laughs> tray thing, whatever you call it, like yeah. the little insert on the wall. Right. But like many people, I'd assume we have too many bottles of things, mm. shampoos, mm-hmm. soaps, conditioners, <laughs> all of it, right? I hope everyone and here's, caught that. <laughs> here's here's the real challenge, okay. right? This is the same thing like a box of cereal in the cabinet. Some of those bottles of yeah. shampoos, conditioners, oh my all, God. all of those, they're empty. Oh, They're empty. You know what I mean? So they're taking up space and the one little tray insert thing that we have, but they're empty and there's too much and they're all just like squished in there together. You can't get anything out. You got to move something to get to something behind it. What I did the other day was I pulled some of those off and I put them on the ground. I saw that. I rearranged that soap dish tray <laughs> thing. Not that it's not a dish tray because <laughs> yeah. it's in the shower. A but nook. Yeah, the nook. I rearranged the nook. I made it so that the bar of soap had its own little slot. It was totally accessible. Mm-hmm. And you know how proud that made me? 
I just felt like this is an adulting move when you actually take the time to say, look, this isn't functionally working anymore. Mm-hmm. Let me actually take care of this. And I took care of it. Did I take the empty bottles no. from the, the floor of the shower? To the recycling bin? No, I didn't. No, you did not. They're okay. on the floor. But I did rearrange the nook. Uh-huh. And now it's all functional again. And I that So makes what me- is your... To, to- to make it short and sweet, what's your adulting is? Like I, I said, would... I don't know how to articulate it, like simply, but it's like the analogy is is taking the empty cereal box out of the cabinet and making sure what's up there is just what you need. It's all accessible. There's mm-hmm. nothing like piled in. Mm. Yes. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I, I don't disagree. I mean, I'm a victim. I'm a victim. I am a culprit in that um, because I don't. I don't remove the empties all the time. Um, And I also saw them mm, on the floor of the mm, shower and didn't do anything mm, about it. mm, Oh, mm. gosh. What are you holding your tongue? Oh, I was just going to say you're like a a space filler upper. You're annoying. You know what I mean? And anywhere there's space gets filled up. Oh, my gosh. You're so annoying. That's it. That's my only complaint for the day because I don't like complaining. Oh, okay. Yeah, sure. Okay. Um, Okay. So adulting is, I'm looking around our house. Oh, goodness. Okay. So adulting is like changing your bed sheets over. How often? Oh, that's a good question. I used to try to do it more often when Gio was younger because I was manic about cleanliness. If you're giving advice to adults, what would you say? Like I'd say every changing, two weeks. Every two weeks, is clean them? Is that too much? Too long? I would say probably once a week. Really? Is right. Yeah, it's not like I do that. Who's but. got that kind of time? Okay, so no, here's what it is. Adulting is having two sets yeah, of, there you go. Yeah, of bed sheets. So that way, because our issue was we had one set. So in order to change them over, it was a full day production. You'd have to ch- you'd have to strip it in the morning, wash them properly, mm. dry them, and then put them back on the bed before you went down for bed. Yeah, yeah. So adulting is having good two point. sets of sheets. Yep, which w- we now have. I would agree with that. Yeah, I would agree with that. I have another one. Go ahead. Adulting is when you're getting into like a new project or hobby or whatever. Just getting what you need to get started. That's my style at least like not going full in. Let me buy everything I could possibly need. Let me have the best of everything just Mm. to try something for the first time. Right. Sure. Yeah. And I'm equating this back to, uh, we would take our cars to get washed all the time. That's what most people do in Los Angeles. I don't know why you just don't wash them at home. A lot of people live in apartments, which makes sense. Um, so we got in the habit. We've been taking our cars to the car wash for years at this point and we haven't been doing that, you know, being home or whatever, but the car has been sitting filthy. Mm-hmm. And so I was finally like, you know what? Let me, let me take this back to like my teenage years. Let me wash these cars. Mm-hmm. Um, and so I was looking to, I'm a, I'll go on a deep dive oh, for gosh. anything. I'll I go on, like I'll go on Amazon. Know this by now yeah, about you <laughs> probably, but like, look, here's the challenge. You go on Amazon, just Amazon alone. And you look for something, some random thing. And there's 2000 options. You know what I mean? So then you're scrolling, you're looking at reviews. I'll go down and read the one star reviews because I want to know like what's the major issues with these <laughs> things. Okay. You're talking about car washing soap right now? Yes. <laughs> okay. But I was looking at the reason I'm saying that is I was looking at kits because like, oh, I need a bucket, I need the I need the mitt or the thing with the extension. I need mm-hmm. I need soap, you know, I need all sorts of stuff. Long story short, I threw it all out the window. I said, Andrew, just simplify. Just get what you need. You have a bucket. All you got to do is clean it out. All you need is a mitt and some car wash soap to start. Mm -hmm. And if you find that you enjoy doing this, which I did and I didn't, (laughs) okay, okay, then you can get the extra stuff that you need. But like all you need is just what you need to get started. Just make sure that you actually like it and Mm -hmm. you're going to keep doing it and then get the rest of the stuff. Mm -hmm. I, I stand by that. Adulting is that. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's just I think adulting is just not being excessive when you don't need to be. Yeah. Impulsive. Maybe? Impulsive. That's yes, 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 yes. Um I was thinking of an example and I don't know if anyone would relate to this at all, but when I was younger having acrylic nails was really popular. There you go. I know this story. This is perfect. Okay, so it was really popular. I obviously wasn't really allowed to get them. They're expensive. There are a lot of maintenance. And of course you want them when you're in like fifth grade. Like I wanted them for graduation, which is insanity. If I think back, I'm like, what? 
Anyway, so everyone wanted them at the time. So what did I do? I went to Sally's Beauty Supply and I bought everything you need to do your own acrylic nails, including a Dremel, all the things, okay? Mm -hmm. And then I sat there and I tried doing my own acrylic nails as a fifth grader who has no experience as a esti- not an esthetician, a cosmetologist. What are they? Nail technician. Nail technician. Mm. Anyway, and they obviously did not turn out well. And so I spent all this money that I probably worked and did garage sales to earn and all the things, chores, whatever else it took to earn this money and had to end up giving all that stuff away. Just so how many times did you use this once, kit? One time. Oh, it was a massive fail. That's my point exactly. Yeah. So, yeah, I think um, I actually did learn from that, I think. Um yeah, I'm just, it's so weird when you think back to your childhood and all the things that you thought you could do, or at least I did. I was like, I could sell cars. Right, at like seven. I yeah. was like, I watched an infomercial for buying used classic call cars, redoing them, making them nice, and then selling them at auctions. This mm. was an infomercial Seems that like was a perfect popular at the time. I talked to my dad into allowing me to buy the program to learn how to sell used cars. Nice. What did was you, I did thinking? Did you sell any? Did you even try to sell a used car? <laughs> I did not sell one Which used brings car. me to my next point, real estate. <laughs> oh, goodness. Oh, no. <laughs> we won't go there today. Wait, why? Because we don't need to. It might be interesting. Wait, what were you going to say about real estate? <sighs> Just about getting your real estate license and and wanting to dive into that, but then never, never even dipping a toe. <laughs> But it's fine. So though. impulsive. <laughs> no, but look, that's an accomplishment to go and get your real estate license, like because you actually have to work for that. You know what yeah. I mean? You got to study. You got to go take the test. Um, you got to renew. Did you renew? Of course, yeah. Okay. Which so, is like taking. It's like doing it all over again, really. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I could say the same thing. I mean, I I did work in the industry, but I got my my CPA license. Yeah. Which I studied for for like a year. It took four tests that I had to pass. But you actually used yours. But you I used got it for a job a while, yeah. in that world. But it's funny, you know, we all know like deep down in our gut, I knew I didn't want to do it. Like I knew I wasn't going to work in the field. Mm-hmm. I think I only did it because I started down the path and wanted to finish what I started in a mm-hmm. sense. And I, part of me knew like, oh, I get this license. It makes you legit. If I ever ran into trouble in the future, like it makes me mo- look more legit and I can always fall back on this if I need of to. Of course. It's smart. So, yeah. It's a smart move, but it's weird because you eat up part of your life doing something that you know you don't want to do. Yeah. That's you know, a big adulting. Move. It's a weird concept. But I feel like that narrative is slowly changing. Maybe I'm just in a bubble, but I. Yeah. I, th- I think right now because of everything that's happened, a lot of people are going to have to just whatever they want to do, they're going to have to kind of eat that for a while and do what they have to do. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. Cause it, it's about survival. But all, all of us too. have been there. Like I, I did work for eight years, nine years that I didn't really want to do. Right. You know what I mean? But you got to build yourself a little cushion and like just get your feet wet. Yeah. I have so much respect for that. Yeah. You can look at it two ways. Um, uh, one of it, one of them is the way I did it. The other is like, the people that would, you know, jump out of an airplane or jump off the side of a cliff tomorrow, they'd be like, what are you waiting for? Mm-hmm. Just do it. You'll figure it out. Mm-hmm. Which there's there's truth to that side too. I just listened to you talk. This is going to sound so repetitive. I feel like I've said this before, but it's like I listen to you talk and because we are so different and we think so differently, I have so much admiration for the choices you've made and you continue to make. And I think like, I don't know, it's inspiring. That's our, I don't know if you could hear our water machine in our <laughs> fridge, but we are in our dining room, which is also the same room also as our in kitchen, kitchen and our living room. Yep. <laughs> um, anyways, no, I, 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 it's cool. Thank you. Thank you. It's weird. This is a weird thought. But when you like say somebody's name or you give a direct compliment, like and somebody can see you looking at them or whatever, like it's weird what it does for you. It like 
brings any walls down. It makes you feel like, oh my gosh, that's that's so nice. You keep talking. <laughs> <laughs> this is kind of what I've been trying to tell you for almost 10 years. It's sales. What are you selling me right now? No, I'm not selling you anything, actually. I just, I that's how I feel. And yeah. I am so impulsive that I just tell you how I feel. Yeah. Unlike you who Sometimes. think everything, you uh, yeah. literally think it all out. Yeah, we couldn't be more opposite in that way. I know. But thank you. That was a nice compliment. Yeah, no, it's true. It takes a, a strong, like, um, also very like, I think it's just focused individual. Yeah. And logical, logical. You know, sometimes I don't like being so logical. I, yeah, yeah, we could, we could go on about this forever and we will maybe, maybe another episode. Yeah, sure. If that's what you want to do. That is what I want <laughs> to do. Are your wheels turning right now? We yeah. Can move on. Oh, I could just talk about this forever, but I, I don't want to bore people. You don't need to point. play with little, this is what I do <laughs> things on the table. This kid has to always be touching something yep. to keep himself busy or like thinking. Um, but okay, so let's just wrap it up because I just feel like um, it's been a really powerful two days. We have a new baby in our family, which I just cannot wait to see more pictures of. And oh, it's the best feeling in the world. Um, but also just, you know, adulting is one of those things. It's got so many layers, so many chapters, and it's just been really fun to be able to experience them and share along the way. Um, so for everyone listening, we always just want to say thank you. And, um, oh, so exciting. We have another Victorious star coming on the show soon. So pumped. Um, you know this person, you love this person, and we're going to be chatting it up and, um, Anyways, just so excited. So stay tuned for that. That's coming up soon. And if you guys feel like leaving us a review to let us know what you think of the show, um, we really appreciate all input. I know we say this a lot. We're also going to be sharing your reviews because they mean so much to us. We're going to be sharing them on our Instagram. So if you want to follow our Instagram account, see if you get mentioned. Um, it's adulting like AMF. Um, and we will chat with you there too. All right, guys. Cool. Have a fabulous week. So